So this is my Othello game. You could choose to either play against the AI or another player, so in this case it's just myself, and so I'll play against the AI. And so it gives you a board that looks like this. It shows you the valid moves that you're allowed to play with the orange. So I'll just play there, and I'll play there. And so you can see that now the central cells have been filled. We're allowed to play along the outside. So I'll just place, and so you can see that whenever I take one that's... Uh, I'm only allowed to place pieces that are opposite another one of my own colour that also intersect one of the other player's colour. And so I'm playing as black here. So you can see there that they placed then one at the bottom of the board on an edge, and that took all of them. So just keep playing through, and now I've got my own edge. And we're continuing to set ourselves up here. So as we gradually fill out the board, um, there's more and more opportunity to take the enemy's pieces. So we're getting closer and closer to the end here. Getting yourself into one of the very edge corners is obviously going to be an extreme advantage. Uh, because it puts you in a position to be able to capture many more positions. And so, in this situation, there's no way for either player to place in another piece, because um, obviously we can't have uh, a capture for any move now, and so you would tally up the number of pieces of black and the number of pieces of white, and so we've won in this situation. So I'll just play another one. And so let's go through and see how we can do. So the AI is just choosing randomly from their available moves. That's uh, not sort of putting in a lot of thought. And so you can see again, we've reached a point now where there's no more possible moves to be played by either side. And so uh, it tallies up the number, and very clearly from looking at by observation, we can see that white has won in this case. And that's it for the Othello video.